at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're, you're lying. You're suffering from various Bastard. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let, let go. 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 Ja, hörni. Välkomna till en till del på Alan Wake. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Ja, det känns konstigt att prata samtidigt som han pratar där. Snacka färdigt då, Alan. Så, nu är han färdig. <laughs> Nej, men... Oj, kommer någon nu. Oj, en pistol, oj, en pistol. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Hey, Lantan. <laughs> yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. <laughs> I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Uh, okay. Follow Dr. Hartman. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now, Jack. Ah, det är den där boken som alla snackar om hela tiden. For the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Okay. This way, Alan. Vad är det för ställe egentligen? Ja, ja. Anderson. Let's go, Hartman. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions. Unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Okay. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. 
but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Varför måste han gå så långsamt? You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Okay. Well, I have nothing. Read. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there is a miracle illuminated. Thomas Sane, antar jag, borde stå för. In the memory of a dear friend and poet. Är det typ en klocka eller någonting? Ja, då är klockan sex nu i så fall. <laughs> Vad gör vi här egentligen? I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Inte det här typ Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Oh. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Follow me. I shall Alan, do that. What I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural to answer. think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. Heitman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug do my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Okay. Come along. Let's go inside. Så ingenting utav det har hänt då alltså. Som jag gjorde förut. Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. Scary. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got you. Emerson. Got you good. Uh, a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. Let's get men to show that. What dream you have or what you have it? Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ew. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy <laughs> to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. It's yeah. trash, of course, yeah. but it does involve some yeah, small yeah. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic <laughs> methods. No kidding. La 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 Oh, good. <laughs> Come here, no. So. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. My rheumatism is killing. Dude, I'm high. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. <laughs> And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? 
A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. It sure did. It sure did. No, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Okay, honey, let's go. <laughs> I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. No, oh, he loved to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Uh. <laughs> Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla. Okay. We'll down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Manuscript. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Ja. Nej, men hon är för det faktiskt avslutar den här delen här tyvärr. Men eh, ja, vi ses i nästa del. Så hej då. Pretty please.